do barring some crazy maths, that's you safe. Sigh of relief. Um, well, I probably thought deep down we were probably all right after last week, but um, you know whether that gets into the players' heads a little bit and and they get a little bit sloppy, I don't know. But um, I don't know if it was a game we deserved to win today. Um, well, I don't think we did deserve to win the game today, but. Um, I'm not going to make any apologies for it because there's been many a game since I've been here that we've really, really deserved to win and we haven't. So um, it's a good three points for the football club and um, hopefully that nudges us further up the table. What didn't happen for you today? We didn't pass the ball quick enough. We, we had a bit of a slow start um, and then for, for ten minutes we didn't get out of our half. Um, and we that, that was it. We scored the first goal against the run of play. It was a breakaway. Um, but, you know, all in all, we, um, we've shown good character and good determination and good spirit that you need that throughout a season to stay in a game. Um, there are lots of other characteristics you need to do. You need to defend set plays, certainly better than we did. We knew he was going to be a threat, threat Big Hayden. Um, and Carly Osborne nearly makes up for it by scoring the other end. Nearly, but didn't quite. Um, so, all in all, we're, we're pleased with our three points. Um, and just hope Notts County can do well now between now and the end of the season and keep themselves up because they deserve to. In terms of what you've achieved in management, how highly do you regard keeping City in this league? I've had a few of them. Um, I've had a few of them. Nottingham Forest were going down before I went there. Portsmouth was a tough stint. Um, it's very difficult to try and separate them, really. I mean, Portsmouth ended up being more probably farcical, if you know what I mean, through two different owners, administration. Um, Nottingham Forest was a was a big club that was really nosediving. Um, I don't quite know whether keeping teams up, whether you ever quite get the credit for it. Um, I'm not looking for a pat on the back, but I don't think you ever quite get it. Whereas if you look at a team that you take over that's bottom of the league or bottom but one and you take them to mid-table, if you were to put them in mid-table, you'd end up taking them to the top of the table. Um, and it's harder to do it, I think, with a team that's down the bottom because you walk through the door and the reason you've got the job is something's actually wrong. So, or nine out of ten, that's the case anyway. So you have to sort out something. Mainly you have to try and sort the team out, sort out the players' confidence because that's not hard to get. And um, they've come through it very well. They've come through it very well. And I, I said to them today, sometimes, you know, we're going to have those games where we have to stay in it. And good teams, they say good teams win when you're not played well. Well, we've just done that today. So maybe we're on our way to being a good team, if you know what I mean. And a word for your man at the top, Sam Baldock, who I think has gone to the top of the League One charts today. Well, good. As long as he stays there, um, we'll be all delighted for him. It'd be fantastic if, if he could achieve it. I've wanted it for him for a little while. Uh, if he gets it, he deserves it. It's not just um, the goals he scores, obviously he gets the praise for that, but, but the work and the running that he puts into his game as well is, is first class. So um, I'm really pleased for him and I hope that the season finishes on a good note for him. Are you, have you already started thinking about Monday? Give us a chance. I've only just finished this one. I've only just finished saying well done to them. No, no not at this moment in time. I think first and foremost I'll... Uh, I'll go in and have a chat and a cup of tea with, with Sean Derry and then um, maybe I'll start thinking about it first thing in the morning. Tom, man, thank you. Is there a difference on it in a game like that, someone like Sam Baldock? I bet they wish they had a Sam Baldock. Um, well, to be fair, I mean, they've got a few good players. I mean, I think Spencer's done well for them. I think he's got, he had four goals in nine before today. Um, Grealish has been good. McGregor was good for him in the first part of the season. Um, I mean, I, I don't want to... You know, knock Sam in any sort of mm. shape or form. But I said to him today, he needed to score, and at half time, I I didn't want him to stop at that. He needed to get another goal because, you know, if he wants to be that top goal scorer in the league, he had to score more than one today. I felt. I like gold dust, don't Steve? Because if, if your team's a bit off par like yours was today, they still get you to win, don't they? Well, they do that, can't they? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I think that I think that the defence got us the win last week, even though he scored the penalty. The defence got us the win last week. I thought the back three were first class last week. We had to make a bit of a tweak and a change um, today, which 
I, I felt helped us. We did it just before Greg went off. Um, but you know, it's nice to have Sam. I mean, it's he, he's a he's a good lad and he's an honest boy and puts in a great shift. So of course we're, we're pleased to have him. Yeah. Are you a little bit fed up with being like little redhead there? You know, come in and you rescue clubs and keep them up. And it would be nice to actually be at the other end of the table. Well, table, I've been you? there, haven't I? I've had I know four. You've done that as I've well, had four promotions, promotions, but you can't you can't ever get fed up with having them. Um, but I think I, th I definitely think it's. It's definitely a harder job, especially when you go to a big club, whatever league they're in. And, and I think that um, you know, the, when, when you have an expectation at a football club that they had at the start of this season, and then to find themselves 23rd, 24th in the table, it's very difficult to, to get out of that. So that'll be the most difficult task you've had as a manager. I just, I mean, I just said before, didn't I? You know, there's Portsmouth was a difficult task, but then it was a difficult task taking Cheltenham from the Dr Martins League to League One. It wasn't easy. This job isn't easy. You've got to just try and work as hard as you can, be as honest as you can, and try and be as good as you can. And you know, I've, I've ended up being in it for a long time now. You know, it's 17 years now doing this. So. You never duck a challenge, Steve. What's your next challenge here for this job, do you, would you say? Stephen here, John Mundy. <laughs> I mean, beyond that, you've kept, yeah, you've kept know, the team I, up now, haven't I you? Don't do, I, don't, I don't do that. I think what I, what I, when you end up doing these these challenges or these jobs, um, I'll never duck it because because I'm a fighter. That's how I've been all my life. I would, If someone says you can't do it, that's that's good enough for me to, to rev me up to try and do something. So Did people tell you that when you came here? No, people kept <laughs> no. People just kept asking me, "Can you keep us up?" And I, I remember quite a few of the interviews early on, and I just said I had to, um, because you can live in faith and you can live in hope, but that won't get you anything. You have to do it. Steve, I've seen so many goal scorers leave Bristol football clubs, Rovers and City over the years, and I've always yeah. said you can't progress if you keep selling your top goal scorers. How confident are you that you'll be able to build the team around Sam again next next season and his goals? Well, what we've got to try and do is is build a team good enough that it's difficult for Sam to get into. And then we will be good. Mm. That's a funny answer. Do you, do, you, do you expect him to be here next season? Is what I'm oh, well, he's got another year on his contract, so we haven't got to sell anyone. You haven't I mean. got to sell, no. Well, I mean, you're no. in a financial position where you don't have to. I mean, so often yeah. in the past, this club has had no. to sell. Scott. No, I don't. Well, I, you know, I've not had any remit that, that I, have to sell, uh, I have to sell anyone. So, mm. no, I, I'm... Your team is an important part of your plans going forward. Oh, of course, I would. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's quite a few of the boys that are important. Yes, I'm sure. Part of the plans, you know. What I mean about goal scorers. We've yeah, we've seen top yeah, goal scorers go, yeah. go from here after such short times. Sam will goal. probably be the first to say that there's ten others behind him. Yeah, I'm you sure. know. Oh, yeah. So yeah. he he is he is a goal scorer. He does score goals out of nothing. He scores goals and he pounces on things when when he makes mistakes. I mean, his goal his goal scoring record. Strikers strikers have always done well for me. Strikers have always is done well. If, I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. But if you look through, you look through at Cheltenham. Um, if you look at Stoke, even though I was only there a short space of time, you had Andy Cook, who wasn't a goal scorer, he scored goals for me. You know, at Burnley, I had Robbie Blake, who wasn't as prolific as he was, and he ended up scoring goals. Then I had Andy Gray there, uh, um, Adi Akinbai. You know, wherever I've been, the strikers have done well. I'd, they're not easy yeah. to replace, though, are they? No, no, policy. they're certainly not easy to replace, that's for sure. But <laughs> David Nugent did well for me at Portsmouth. So all the strikers have done well. So Sam's Sam's in good company with some of the names that, that I've mentioned to you there. You Can know. you see him getting better? Is there an age still where he could get better? Yeah, I think he could. Well, I think he's actually improved in the short space of time I've been here. Because when I come in, I can't remember how many goals he'd scored. But I wouldn't mind betting he's already doubled that. I wouldn't mind right, betting. As you say, it's tremendous. Yeah, he runs. Yeah. He runs, and if he runs, if you run in this game, you make things happen. And um, you know, the harder he works, hopefully, the, hopefully, the luckier he gets. And and he's a really good kid, and I I like him a lot. So Absolutely. hopefully, he can. Um, he's a clever boy as well, you know. Yeah, it seems like he's yeah. a clever boy. You you don't have to tell him too many things. It it sinks in. He's pretty he's pretty good like that. And wherever you play him, playing wide right, wide left, down the middle. I know he prefer to play down the middle, but. Every time he comes back and he says, well, you know, I'd rather play down the middle. I say, yeah, but you score goals wide. So he scores goals wide. Every time I put him wide, he scores goals. Maybe I've got his position. Both sides, left Try and put him somewhere I think he's going to have an impact depend, depending on their team as well. Thank you. All right. Pleasure.